What is up, everybody? Welcome to episode 13 of the vlog. It is currently 2 a.m. in the morning. Uh, I have reasons why it's 2 a.m. in the morning and why I'm still up. Uh, this is also my second attempt of recording this because the first time I just didn't like it. <laughs> so a couple days later, now I'm doing it again. The last time I tried recording it, it was going kind of long. So this time I'm gonna try to shorten the vlog because I was like halfway done and was like already at 20 minutes. And I was like, nah, we're not having a 40 minute vlog. <laughs> so yeah, my energy's not the highest at two o'clock in the morning, but whatever, I need to get a vlog out. Also, also very important news today. Uh, it is currently, since it's 1.41, it's tomorrow or today technically. And it's the 25th, which means it's Daisy's birthday. <laughs> There we go. I haven't played that in forever and uh, I kind of forgot how to, so I had to look it up. Uh, it took me like 10 tries. <laughs> You're welcome. Anyways, make sure everyone down in the comments section wish Daisy happy birthday. Uh, yeah, let's just jump right into it. Also, I know my hair looks like crap. I'm sorry, I fell asleep and now my hair's all messed up. So yeah, let's just get started. Let's just jump into life. So we're all still quarantined as always. So I don't have any like big, big news to share this week. Uh, I'm sure, I'm sure you're all sick of my brother news. So I'm gonna keep it nice and short. Uh, he's back from the hospital. He's on a crap ton of meds, including steroids. And because of that, he looks a little chubby right now. And it's kind of funny, but like, not really, but like it kind of is. Anyways, <laughs> so I've been playing a lot of Persona 5 Royal uh, a lot, like I'm at 65 hours out of it, but I'm on a little break right now. I haven't played in like a couple days, but yeah, that's a lot of my time now. Uh, I'm watching a lot of shows, but we'll talk about that on my uh, reviews. Uh, so yeah, I don't really have a lot to talk about. Uh, I can talk about why I'm recording a vlog at 2 a.m. Uh, if you remember last week, I mentioned how uh, I can't sleep during the night. Oh, I can't sleep during the night and I'm always tired during the day. Well, one night I stayed up to like six in the morning because I didn't want to sleep. And then I woke up at like 2 p.m. And that schedule was pretty much stuck with me for the past like a week. <laughs> so now I'm literally nocturnal. I literally stay up all night, which is kind of good because it's getting really hot right now. So uh, currently it's like 70 degrees in the garage and I would have my fan on, but I don't want the ruined audio. So I'm gonna start sweating in about 10 minutes if I don't wrap this up. Uh, but yeah, it's like 95 degrees outside now and I'm sleeping through it. Oh, last night I didn't sleep through it, but like usually I slept through it. I hate the heat and I'm in the garage. There's no air conditioning here. I feel like you guys don't know my pain. <laughs> uh, anyway, so yeah, I'm nocturnal now. So I actually get a lot more work done at like two in the morning than I did like during the day because no one's awake, I guess but I also can't be as loud. Uh, but yeah, so my theory of why I can't sleep anymore is because of the medicine I take, the heart rate pills or the heart, heart blood pressure, blah, 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 blood pressure pills. I couldn't think of the word. Uh, I think because I take them at night that it keeps me awake. But then when they start wearing off during the middle of the day, uh, I get tired. And because I can't miss a day or else something bad will happen apparently. I don't know. I didn't want to, you know, risk it. <laughs> so I take my pills at night instead of the morning, like I probably should. So yeah, and now I'm nocturnal because of it, I'm assuming. So yeah, honestly, that's all I have for life. <laughs> I have a lot of uh, voice acting and review stuff. So this vlog hopefully won't be too long, but also won't be too short. Anyways, let's just jump into voice acting. Uh, I did my f last, uh, like last official class, but we're doing like a, like a recap class, I guess on Wednesday, but yeah, our last class was la uh, this Wednesday and the next week's the next class. You know what I mean? So yeah, we had like a, not like a final, but like we had like our final, like a, uh, like live performance, I guess you can call it, where we had to read uh, our choice of a uh, advertisement. I did this one that was like all about ball cream. It was all like satire stuff. It was pretty funny. Anyways, it was fun. Class was amazing. Uh, cool people. Shout out to the cool people if you're watching this in my class. Uh, good news is though, uh, because there's three voice acting classes, 101, 201, and 301, and then there's a master class, but I don't know, I, don't, I didn't take that. Anyways, uh, I actually signed up for 201 over the summer because they're offering it. Uh, so 101 is basically like uh, the beginnings, like learning how to enunciate your words and like speech and flow. And then we did a little bit of emotion, a little bit of a business. 201, the new class I'm about to take, is all about like emotions and speaking. And then 301 is like the business side of voice acting because that's also very important because uh, I don't have an agent. <laughs> I got my own agent. Anyways, so yeah, 201 is going to start in May pretty soon. I'm excited for that. Uh, some people in my class are taking that class too with me. That'll be on Tuesdays at night, like always. So yeah, uh, some of you are probably wondering, Andrew, what about regular college? Well, 
we're all still stuck in here and I hate taking college class like Palomar online classes because the one I took for math was terrible because I don't learn from just like being told to read a textbook and then answering like 80 questions. How does anyone learn like that? So I hate it. So yeah, uh, this class is actually really nice because we have a live class and like being taught live, not just like force fed PowerPoints and uh, textbook stuff. So yeah, the point here I'm trying to make is I'm not taking any classes over summer. Hopefully campus will be opened up in the fall. If not, probably won't take a, probably won't take a fall class because I refuse to take online classes because that'd be terrible. I have an itch, I'm sorry. So yeah, that's irrelevant. Let's just get back to voice acting. <laughs> so I haven't done much auditioning lately because uh, I'm at the point right now where I want to move, I want to elevate myself from like the basic like 14 year old Minecraft uh, stuff to more of like professional stuff. But the thing that makes voice acting unfair, like I mentioned in my uh, tip video, about how people with better equipment always get chosen more than the people with like crappy equipment. And since I don't have $300 equipment, I'm getting buried by people who do have that kind of stuff for their auditions. And I'm over here with my $60 blue snowball mic. Uh, so yeah, so I wouldn't say I lost confidence, but I know that I need to upgrade. And then I wrote the script a while ago, so some things have changed. Uh, first things first, great news. I got my stimulus check from Senor Donald Trump. He signed it personally for me. That's not true, I actually got the correct deposit. But I heard he's actually signing the checks. Not like himself, but like it's a copy with his signature. That isn't completely relevant. I got 1200. <laughs> so I decided to start buying new equipment. So I bought today actually, which was a pain in the butt because literally every single online service right now, shipping is gonna take until like mid-May and then no store right now sells it or is open. Guitar Center is only, is only open like once a week now apparently. And they're the ones who have the audio stuff. Anyways, but my point here I'm trying to make is that I got it off eBay, everything I needed. That's going to get here May 1st. So this might be the last vlog, my last YouTube video in general, that I use a USB mic. Uh, I might sell this mic, actually. I think I want to autograph Blue Snowball from me <laughs> for memorabilia. I'll pay, give me like $5 for it. No. So yeah, I'm going to buy new equipment pretty soon. Oh, I did buy new equipment. The mic I'm actually getting from a classmate of mine. Uh, she's selling it. She's, uh, it's a... Uh, lightly used, I guess the word. She only used it twice. And she lives in Cali too, so Ventura area. I don't know if I just say that. No one knows who it is though, so it's okay. <laughs> no one show up to her house. That'd be weird. Uh, I'm trying to read and talk at the same time, like always. I should look at the camera more when I do vlogs. I should always read this first and then speak into the camera, but I never do. And I always get mad at myself when I edit this. And it's just me looking at the script while talking. Like, I don't know why, I just hate when I do that. Uh, anyways, uh, I forgot what I was saying. Yeah, some of this stuff is old. I guess that's pretty much it for voice acting. I'm getting, what's the recap? Uh, last class was Wednesday, very fun. Recommend the class. Uh, next class is 201, that's in May. Uh, I'm not auditioning that much anymore because I need new equipment, but I'm buying new equipment because I got money from Trump. And that's voice acting for this week or past two weeks, whatever. So let's jump on to reviews. Uh, so reviews are gonna take a long time, like last time. So I'm gonna like shorten the hell out of this. So I'm gonna just like speed through it. So uh, first things first, you know all the routine, but also Daisy mentioned that I should start, uh, shout out to Daisy, happy birthday Daisy. Everyone comment, happy birthday Daisy. Uh, she said that uh, I should state whether everything is recommended, Daisy recommended or not Daisy recommended, not just anime. So I'm gonna start doing everything Daisy recommended or not Daisy recommended. Anyways, movies first. If I talk really fast, cause I'm trying to hurry through this. So I'm sorry. Slow it down or something, I don't know. <laughs> so first thing I first, uh, buh, 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 buh. first things first, I watched two Tom Cruise movies. Uh, one I already reviewed, Last Samurai, good movie. Next one's a movie by Spielberg called Minority Report. Good movie, didn't think it'd be so good, but it's pretty good. It's about, uh, oh, you can watch it, just watch it. <laughs> I'm not gonna explain what it's about, just watch it. It's just, I give it a eight, probably. I was deciding between a seven and an eight. We're gonna give it eight. I would say Daisy recommended, but I don't think Daisy herself would watch it, but I think any normal human being should watch it. So I'm gonna say yes, Daisy recommended. Uh, not on Netflix, gotta watch it somewhere else. Yeah, that's it. Next things next is the anime movies. Uh, I gotta scroll down a little bit, don't mind me. So I watched three anime movies, no, four anime movies, but three of them are from Studio Ghibli. If you don't know who Studio Ghibli is, they're like the, probably like the biggest Japanese film studio for anime movies, and uh, Disney does the dubs which means that Disney gets like A1 actors. Like uh, for the first movie, it was John Krasinski, Emily Blunt, and uh, 
Joseph Gordon-Levitt. So this movie was called The Wind Rises. Pretty good movie. I'll try to explain it the quickest way possible. It's about a guy who makes planes for Japan in World War II. It sounds boring when I say it like that, but it's good. Watch it. <laughs> uh, I'd give it a seven. Uh, all these Ghibli films are not going to be Daisy recommended because they're kind of weird. I don't think Daisy would like any of them. So let's just get that out there right now. Uh, not Daisy recommended. Uh, it's a World War II film, so you know I like it. Anyways, moving on. I'm going to try to go through this quick. I'm sorry. <laughs> But uh, also, quick note, Ghibli films are on Netflix if you uh, live anywhere but the U.S. because uh, rules. But if you want to watch them, I know they're on HBO Go or now. The HBO streaming series. I don't know what it's called, but I know Ghibli films are on that. Or unless you have like a VPN, you can watch it on Netflix, whatever. Uh, next movie was a movie that was, uh, what was it called? I can't find I should really like bold these better. Oh, yeah. Next movie was a movie called Howl's Moving Castle. This one had Christian Bale in it. If you don't know who Christian Bale is, he was Batman and Nolan trilogy. Uh, this movie was kind of weird. It's basically uh, a girl who gets turned old and then finds a witch who's cute and they live together, basically. Uh, this one, I'd probably give a seven. The characters are pretty cool. Story was kind of meh, uh, but overall, I think it was pretty good. I think you should watch it. I liked it more than the last one, the World War II one. And then final movie, also not Daisy recommended. Like I said, no Ghibli film will be Daisy recommended. So the last one is probably the most popular studio, studio Ghibli film. The one everyone's probably seen by now. It's called Spirited Away. I watched it a long time ago, but like I never finished it. But this time I for sure finished it. Very weird movie. I have no idea how to explain it. Just watch it. This one was actually really good. Uh, really weird. I don't know if I enjoyed it enough to give it an eight but i wrote eight so whatever give it an eight it was for, <laughs> for great uh just watch it it's the best ghibli film honestly just just watch it not daisy recommended still anyways i forgot this film when i wrote this so i had to pencil it in like recently uh it was uh something i almost died when i saw it, it was on netflix it was a follow-up movie to my favorite anime show called violet evergarden this one's called violet evergarden eternity and auto memory doll it's a movie a uh, cute movie. It's like two sisters who get separated and they start writing to each other, basically. Uh, it was good, but not as good as the show. And I definitely recommend you watch the show before you watch the movie. Uh, so I'm going to give the movie a seven. It was good, but not good enough to be like an eight or like anything near the show. But I think you should definitely watch it. Daisy recommended because I still think Daisy should watch the uh, show. Or yeah, Daisy should definitely watch the show. She never will watch the show, but I know she should watch the show. I hope this makes sense. I'm going really fast. I'm sorry, but I need to get this through. <laughs> uh, anyways, yeah, that's pretty much it for your movies, I think. Yeah, so for shows, I'm gonna go very quick. Uh, first show is a mockumentary on Netflix called American Vandal. Very good. I gave it an eight. It was pretty funny. Next show, uh, I gotta scroll down. Crap, crap, crap. Oh, also Daisy recommended. She I already told her to watch American Vandal, but I for sure doubt she did because Daisy hates me. Happy birthday, Daisy. Next are animes. Uh, first one was the one I talked about last week, JoJo's Stardust Crusaders. This is the next one called JoJo's Diamond is Unbreakable. I liked it more than the last JoJo, but I like the characters and the other ones from the last JoJo more than the, this JoJo, the Diamond is Unbreakable. <laughs> I'm gonna speed this so quick. I'm so sorry, this makes no sense. But uh, I'm just gonna give it a seven instead of a six, like the last one. So this is a seven, Diamond is Unbreakable is a seven. Not Daisy recommended, Daisy would not like JoJo. Uh, okay, next, moving on. <laughs> Uh, blah, blah, blah. what was the next one? I forgot. Okay, next one's also a Netflix show. You can find JoJo. Okay, uh, old JoJo, uh, Stardust Crusaders, you can find on Netflix. This one you can't. You gotta watch it somewhere else. Diamond is Unbreakable. You can't watch. Anyways, next. High Score Girl, Netflix. Very good. Choose cute AF romance, I wrote. It's where, like, these two kids play in the arcade and, like, fall in love with each other, basically. And it takes place, like, the 90s when, like, video games just started. It was pretty short. 24 episodes, but it took forever to come out. So I don't remember exactly everything about it, but I really liked it. So I'm gonna give it an 8. Definitely, you think you should watch it. Probably not Daisy recommended because she doesn't like video games or anime. So I don't think she would like this, but it was pretty cute. I love cute stuff. Anyways, uh, next one I talked for, talk about last week. I don't know why. This one's like really popular. It came out last year. It's called Promised Neverland. This one's really creepy. It's like a psycho thriller about like these orphanage and all this stuff happens that you should just definitely watch. I don't want to spoil anything. Um, definitely give it an A because I thought it was great. Probably should be Daisy recommended because I feel like Daisy would like it, but I know for a fact she would not watch it. So yeah, and also not on Netflix, but yeah, I think that's it. Currently watching a really long anime right now. I don't want to say what it is yet. So yeah, I have like a couple of animes I'm watching right now. And then I'll talk about those next time. I think I just did that in like five minutes. <laughs> Last time it took me like 15 minutes to get through that. Cool. I'm sorry if that made no sense to you. Also, one thing I'm gonna start doing is I'm gonna start linking my anime list, like an actual anime list that I make that has all my ratings and every anime I've seen. I'm gonna start linking it in the description if you guys wanna watch anything. So yeah, let's just move on. 
to YouTube updates. <laughs> okay, now I gotta go back to slow pace. So as you know, I hit my goal of two videos between vlogs. So that's a good thing. Both are new things to my channel. One was try not to get scared. The other one was uh, would you rather. The try not to, or the, yeah, try not to get scared one I thought was pretty good. And I think it did pretty good. I think it's had like 10 views or something like that. I don't even know. It's pretty good. You only have 10 views, Andrew. You're such a loser. I know. <laughs> you don't gotta tell me. Uh, anyways, yeah, the scary one was kind of a pain in the butt to edit because uh, somehow the audio and the video got desynced. Something happens to the video. I don't know. So I literally had to download the video. And then the way I had to line it up to the audio is I was sitting in the dark. So every time a new image popped up on my screen, it would light my face different. So I had to literally like match up like my which picture light. Uh, how do I explain it? I explained it good. What did I put? I had to use the light reflections on my face cam to line up the video. That makes no sense to you, but like literally it's what I had to do. Every time my face got lit up, that's when I knew a new picture popped up. Anyways, the next video was the would you rather and it did OK, but it was kind of an OK video admittedly. So I'm not mad. Uh, I want to make obviously gameplay videos, but like I mentioned, I don't know if I mentioned last week actually, but my Elgato still sucks. It's still on a I don't want to work phase. I should probably buy a new one eventually, but I just haven't. <laughs> so I can't really play anything on my PC. The only game that works on my PC is Roblox. I don't think you guys want more Roblox games. So maybe if you do, I'll play Roblox. I tried other games on my computer, but they just don't work very well. Like some funny game, like an anime game I wanted to play. So yeah, so this video, this video is going to be the next video, obviously. Uh, I don't have anything else planned. So if you want to leave any recommendations of what I should do, uh, please, <laughs> I need recommendations for videos. Uh, yeah, also I scrapped a really long anime list video because it's a lot of effort and I feel like anyone, no one's going to watch it. <laughs> it's really, really long. I mean, like really long. I might redo it. Probably not, but I might. It's everything from my anime list. So as long as you go on my anime list, uh, it's the same thing. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I do have a Reddit video idea I want to do that I got to like actually like put time and effort into doing and it might take a little minute. So uh, expect that maybe one day. So whatever, let's just jump into the outro. Okay, so hopefully this video is not too long. Uh, I tried to make it nice and quick. I'm already like way less time right now than I was the last time I did this. Uh, if anyone made it this far, I want you to type exactly happy birthday, Daisy. I'll post it on the screen how I want it. I'm still looking at the screen. I want it. I'm really bad at watching the camera and not reading the script. Uh, whatever. Anyways, I got nothing else than that. Let's just like and subscribe. Uh, I'll be back soon, hopefully. Hopefully I'll get the new mic and everything set up. Anyways, whatever. Stay inside, wash your hands, uh, six feet apart, don't kill anybody, and don't die yourself. Whatever. Oh, anyway, I don't know why I said whatever. Your life is important. I don't know. Goodbye. <laughs>